Good eye, mate. Welcome back to the Korok, a dial hunter. My name is Mr. Terrible Australian Accent Guy. And today, we're going to be looking for the most terrifying thing in the world. Women. And that is because... Because... It, I, I can't do this. Oh. Um... Yeah, jeez, um... Seems like things are a little bit worse than I expected them to be. So recently, Mr. Terrible Australian Accent Guy, his girlfriend broke up with him, and now she's with another guy, which is pretty bad in itself, but what's even worse than that is his favorite bookshelf just magically disappeared one day. I, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I have no idea. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, how could that have happened? I don't know. I, I definitely had, didn't have anything to do with that, but... Um, we're gonna try and help Mr. Terrible Australian Accent Guy out a little bit here, and... You know, we can't really do much about the whole bookshelf thing, so I think maybe we'll help him out and, you know, maybe we'll find him a new girlfriend, so... Let's go find some girls. Uh, you are definitely not a girl, so, uh... Yeah. Alright guys, so... The best way to get girls is through pickup lines, alright? You get them laughing, and... You, uh, you woo them, alright? They make, you make them feel special, you get a good pickup lines, so that's what we're gonna be doing right now. Hey girl, every time I see you, I feel you complete a piece of my heart. Uh, nothing? Alright. Girl, you're hotter than Din's fire. Uh, okay, nothing, nothing. Alright, clearly she wasn't the one, guys. Let's move on, uh, maybe, you know... Maybe he likes older girls. Let's let's try. Uh, we'll go with you right here. You want to get out of my personal space? Oh, okay. So clearly. Um. Okay. I'll, I'll leave you alone. I'm sorry. All right. Jeez. People are rude here. That other girl is a lot nicer. Uh, what about this? This a female? <laughs> with some cornrows? What is this hair? It looks green. Okay. You know what? Maybe Mr. Terrible Australian accent will like it. What's up, girl? I had to put on my flame breaker armor because you're so hot. No, nothing, nothing else? Jeez, these people are so hard to impress. Let's try it. We got another one out here. Uh, hey, girl, you can be my Twilight Princess. What do you, what do you say? N nothing? Jesus. All right, Manny, I, I remember you like this girl and that's inside of this uh, little motel, hotel, holiday inn over here. So uh, let's go steal this girl, all right? If I remember correctly, she was she was pretty cute. All right, see you here, Prima. What's up, girl? Hey, when I look into your eyes, I get more lost than I did in the water temple. Nothing. Uh, all right, let's try let's try another one. Hey, girl, you don't need to play Epona's song for me to come running. Nothing. Jesus. All right, man. Girls, girls are hard, man. All right, geez, we're not having any luck. You know, in previous Zelda games, Link would somehow always end up, like, getting every single girl in the world to, uh, like him for some reason. Like, that even happens in Breath of the Wild, too. Maybe we'll take a break from hitting on females, and... And let's go over to my house real quick. Alright, so I had comments from people after I finished up the Champions Battle DLC that you get a picture, and apparently you can hang up the picture in your house or something? Oh, okay. Speaking of Link with, uh, women, he's got three on his shoulders right there. Was that- was that it? That's it? I thought- I thought it would've been something maybe a little more special than that, but, um, alright. Alright, so, I think I need to come up with some more pickup lines, so, uh, I'm gonna go sit down at this desk right here, and, uh, we'll- we'll think of some new ones. You know what, maybe it's just this village. I think we need to try- let's try something a little more exotic, you know, let's go with, uh, Lor- Lorillian Village? Jeez, can I say that name? Lorillian, there it is. I feel like this video is just gonna be, like, really cringy sometimes. Alright, new location. Maybe the females here are a little bit nicer than they were in that last place. So, uh, let's go look around. Hey, Jessica. Did it hurt when you fell from Skyloft? Alright, noth nothing from that one either? Okay, how about this? Are you wearing the Pegasus boots? Because you've been running through my mind all day. No, no, no reaction to that one either. Alright, let's, let's go find somebody else then. All right, we got, um, we're definitely a female. Mubs, hello there. Uh, I'm not looking to buy anything unless it's your heart. Hey, girl. I must have defeated a boss because I just found a heart container. And that would be you, in case in case you didn't get that the joke. The All right, the awkward. I'm gonna try this again. Uh, girl, are you a Deku nut? Because you're stunning me. 
Yeah, that face she is making right there does not look, she does not look amused. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. All right, so I decided to change up the strategy. We're going over to Gerudo Town. The reason for this is this town is filled with only women. So they're probably a little deprived of any males. They're probably feeling a little bit lonely. The only issue is I kind of have to dress up as a female. So hopefully that doesn't cause us any issues. Uh, you know, hey, how about you? Hey, girl, I don't like you. I like like you. Uh, not, nothing from that one either? All right. Hey, what's up, ladies? Would any of you happen to be a fairy? Because I kind of need you right now. I'm, I'm a little low on health. Uh, I, I need some help. Uh, now that one, that one probably didn't come off too well. All right, you know what I need right here? I need a uh, goth gamer girlfriend right here is what we're searching for. So I think that would fit Mr. Turbo Australian acting the best. And I think I see uh, you know, purple hair over one of her eyes. I think that seems pretty goth to me. So let's try out this girl right here. Hey, girl, I have three pieces of heart. Would you complete me? No, nothing. All right, how about how about this one, okay? Are you sure there are only three Triforce pieces? Because I'm sure you have the Triforce of Beauty. No, no, nothing that, nothing there either. All right, all right, fine then. If you don't like me, then I'll just have to kill you. Take this. All right, that's that's definitely not a good thing to do, guys. If if a woman turns you down, do not attack them and get angry at them. Definitely not a good idea. Man, how did none of those work? I thought pickup lines were the ultimate way to pick up girls. I mean, it's not like being a genuinely good person that is fun to be around is the best way to get girls, is it? That can't be it. There's no way. All right, there's got to be some sort of trick, some better way to go about things. All right, guys, so I think I have an idea. Look at it. She's already telling me to come over here. She clearly digs me, all right? The pickup line must have put her off a little bit. I think the best way to get girls is to give them things. And what exactly are we going to give her? Well. All women love diamonds, right? And hey, where are you going? Come back. Don't worry. Don't worry. Where are you going? Don't run away from me. You see the diamonds in my hand? You know you love them. Ah, uh, there you go. See all those diamonds just for you. I don't know why you're trying to sweep them up to clean them or something, but th those are all for you. All of those diamonds. Um, you want to go out and date? Man, how does she still not like me? All right, so instead of diamonds, how about, um, you want some opal instead? I know some people prefer opal. I, I kind of threw out a bunch and some of them started to disappear. See, watch this. All right, I put these down. And then they started to disappear. So I'm wasting opal for you. Please take me. All right, probably being desperate or just giving them things probably isn't a good idea either. Hey, lady, how about this? Uh, this do you find this attractive? This is what peak male performance looks like. Man, honestly, getting turned down by all these females, it's gotta be really down. Like, am I destined to be just like Mr. Terrible Australian accent guy and just be alone? I don't wanna be like that. I thought, I thought I had it in me. I thought women would be all over me. Man, what am I, what am I supposed to do? I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. Don't know where it goes, but all right, you know what? I can't let this get me down. Just because they don't like me because of my stupid pickup lines, maybe that doesn't mean I'm all that bad of a person. Maybe it's not about the pickup lines. Maybe just I have to be a good person. And maybe I need to just be myself, you know, go up to a female, become friends, you know, and see how things go. So uh, let's try that. Why, hello there, Sagessa. My name is Mr. Nice Guy, and I make YouTube videos. Get a real job, nerd. Oh. Jeez, that, uh, that, uh, that didn't work. Uh, that actually made her run away from me, actually. It's, she's definitely not running away because of the rain or anything. I think, uh, did I say something wrong? Was it the being the YouTuber part? Do people just not like YouTubers? Is that what it is? I don't blame them, you know? I just sit, sit at home and make YouTube videos all day. Pretty boring to be around, to be honest. So, yeah, clearly being myself isn't gonna work because I'm so, such a boring person, so... Maybe we should go back to doing pickup lines again. Two thousand years later. Um, speaking of females liking Link in the Legend of Zelda games, uh, Paya seems to be uh, sleeping and thinking about me. So nice. 
All right, guys, when she wakes up, she's gonna get a surprise. Uh, maybe, we, let's see what happens. What if I actually blow it up, like... All right, apparently she's immune to explosions while she sleeps. And... Why was I forced into a crouching position? I definitely didn't press the crouch button. It is 8 a.m. How long does this person sleep? All right, I mean, I wake up normally at, like, 9.30, so I can't really talk. But, uh, I thought she would have been awake by now. Oh, okay, hello there, Paya. Good morning. What the heck? It was... It was on top of my head for a second there. Um, sorry about that, Paya. That was just my explosive personality. All right, guys, I finally did it after a long time. Lots of pickup lines, lots of hard work, but I finally have myself a date. We have Paya here. It's almost like I knew she liked me the entire time. But, um, you know, things are going pretty good. We're chilling out in her bedroom, but wait a second. S something seems weird. Why am I on a date? When I'm supposed to be getting a girl for Mr. Terrible Australian accent guy. This doesn't make any sense. What, what am I even doing here? P P I'm sorry, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Paya. You're a good person, but I, I can't do this. Man, what am I supposed to do? In order for me to get a girl for Mr. Terrible Australian accent guy, I have to go all the way to Australia. And if I go to Australia, then the gameplay is going to look like this. Because, you know, Australia is on the bottom of the world. So everything's upside down there. So I can't really do that. Nobody wants to watch that. Alright, so right now we're a little bit stuck. I can't exactly get him a girl because he's all the way in Australia and I don't think a girl is going to want to, you know, fly all the way up to Australia. And I can't exactly go over there because then the gameplay will be upside down. Um, wait, did I say gameplay? Am I breaking the fourth wall? I just ruined the roleplay. Oh, crap. But also, I, there is the whole bookshelf thing about his bookshelf disappearing. I know he was quite upset about that. You know, shipping those all the way to Australia, that's expensive. So... I'm not made out of money or anything. I only got how many how many rupees I got? Five thousand eight hundred and thirty-three. You know, that's not gonna cover the costs. So clearly we have to think of something else that can make him happy. Meanwhile. Oh my gosh, there's so many lasers! So many guardians. I didn't sign up for this. Ow. Ow! Alright, calm down. Just leave me alone for a split second. Um, hello there? Okay. Have fun. Have fun down there. Alright, so that last guardian just fell through the world, and I knew that these, uh, these guardians here that are kind of like partially destroyed when you, you stay stunned them, they fall through the ground, but I didn't know that one did over there. I know this one does. Can I get over to it when it falls? Ah, oh, I wanted to like be on it when it fell. Well, goodbye. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing over here. I kind of just got distracted. Uh, we probably have to get back, back on our uh, goal of trying to figure out a way to make Mr. Terrible Australian accent guy happy again. Well, I've been doing a lot of thinking about this whole thing. Love is truly amazing. There really is no better feeling than having someone in your life who loves and cares for you just as much as you love and care for them. However, if that love falls apart, heartbreak can be one of the most painful things to go through. That is why it is sometimes best not to let one person have so much control over your own happiness. The main person who should be in charge of your own happiness is yourself. Learning to love yourself can be hard for some people, but it's not impossible. Every person is great in their own way. Find something that makes you happy, and it can make a world of difference for you. Personally, that thing that makes me happy is making these videos for you. A wise man once said, Real G's move in silence like lasagna. Love is quite similar to that quote, because I'm still trying to figure it out myself. Like seriously, I'm probably not the best person to be giving love advice. I don't even know why I made this video. But, I guess this is the end of the video? Which means it's time to thank the wonderful people who support me on Patreon. So shoutouts to Serial, Deanny, Corin, and Ross. Also shoutouts to I'm Plascott, Ali Panda, and Sarah Victoria for being a member on my channel. 